So often we get asked the question, how to hit the ball further? Well, my name is Jonathan Craddock. I'm here at the Emirates Golf Club today to show you just how to do that. Often when I started my career, I used to watch the professionals on the first tee hit the ball a long way and I used to wonder how they could do that out of the blocks. And, and really it's because of their, their, their preparation for the round. So as I've got into my career, one of the things that I do is, is really try and prepare my body for that round of golf. So in my bag, just having a look at what I've got in here, I've got, I've got my roller, very, very good for a little bit of rolling out the, uh, the muscles there. I've got my, my bands for dynamic warm-up. So that's gonna fire my muscles before I play. What else have I got? I've got another band, a little stronger, a little bit more explosive movements involved there. What else have I got? I've got my spiky ball. So it's very good for the dynamic warm-up process. So taking the spiky ball on a notch and coming over here to my, my trigger point. So trigger point's fantastic for dynamic warm-up. It's an important component and it really does get into the various areas so so in 15 20 minutes I can go through all the various areas of my body starting from my foot up and it turns on all the muscles get the blood flow going get myself ready for the movements that I want to to do with golf I'm going to show you one of the movements that we do now with golf really as an instruction an instruction standpoint we we work from the ground up so same when I when I'm working with trigger point I like to work from the ground up so I'm going to remove my shoe here uh, the first exercise that I would do here is I, I would simply just roll the bottom of my foot um, and it, it really is that simple I'm just gonna get my weight on my right foot and, and roll out the bottom of my foot not gonna do it too quickly um, and, and, and then do the other foot and, and move up through the body I have a whole host of different uh, tools to use for different areas of my body to, to get the blood flowing stimulate the movement and then following that we would move on to an explosive exercise. Okay, after I've stimulated my blood flow, very important, um, I might do some explosive exercises. So I have my band here attached to the cart and uh, there's, there's a whole host of different things I could do. We could do some pulling exercises, so getting myself into a, a little bit of a lunge position and, and we could do some pulls. If I was getting ready for a round of golf, my blood flow is already going, so I might, I might get this moving quite quickly. And also do some pushes. Um, face the opposite face the opposite direction here facing away from the car and I'm going to do the same thing but just pushing away uh, and again we're going to get that moving we're going to get that moving pretty quickly so what I'm trying to do there is activate my core get all my body fired up ready to stand on that first tee and hit the ball a long way so I've just taken you through my warm-up using all the various props if you don't have all these uh, bits of equipment then one thing we could do is get ourselves into a little lunge position so Get myself down nice and low here. I'm activating my legs using my bum. Get my core engaged. And then I'm gonna pop my arms out here. I'm gonna turn my palms to the sky to engage my shoulders. And then I'm gonna rotate around my center. Now that's important. I'm rotating around my center and not just moving my arms. I'm rotating around my center, using my center to turn to the right and then the left. So this is a good exercise to separate the upper body and the lower body also. So I can get the power needed in the golf swing. One of the exercises that we do see people use often, they put a club across their chest and they perform rotations, but unfortunately there's lots of movement involved. One of the key thoughts that I would have my students think of is rotating around their center. Okay, so there you have it guys, how I warm up for golf or how we can prepare our bodies better for the round of golf ahead.